For today's quiz, we have a tuning fork. We've got a nice resonance box connected to it. If I strike this, it gives off a very nice tone. I've heard this before. Take this, put this one right here. The question today is, what if I were to take an identical one of these tuning forks, which is made at the same factory, uh, same specifications, everything's exactly the same, and I put another one right next to it, drop the mallet, and I were to now strike this one, what happens? That's our question. Here's what your quiz looks like. I'll hold that up now. As always, mark your answer to the best of your ability and mark your confidence. Typical student responses for this quiz include, A, nothing's going to happen. Why would it? So they often think that you're trying to trick them, and now they're, they're fed up with it, and they're saying, nothing's going to happen. I don't even know why you would ask such a question. Others will say, for some reason, it seems like the sound just won't bounce off very well, and maybe it won't be as loud, something like that. And those are the two most common answers that we get. Got our two resonance boxes sitting next to one another. I'll strike the one. Gives off a nice, beautiful tone, as we've heard before. And this is vibrating back and forth. I can almost see them vibrating. Camera probably can't. But eventually, when those vibrations wear down, you're not going to hear anything. So as you vibrate and give it amplitude, we get the sound. Now, all I have to do to stop the sound is stop the vibration. Did you hear it? The energy of this vibrating set of pieces of metal going back and forth somehow through the air transferred their energy and got this set to start vibrating. Maybe I'll put them a little closer to the camera. I hope, we'll, I hope the camera's microphone can pick this up. Maybe I'll do it this other way this time. I'll hit this one nice and loud and I can drive it again a few times nice and loud. Remember, this one's the one that's vibrating. And watch, I'll attenuate it by stopping the vibrations over here. And I can feel those vibrations. This is such a neat phenomenon. And it's not just for sound. It's a really important thing called resonance. And we're going to end up talking about that in electricity for simple harmonic motion and things of that nature. But it really does transfer. So something happens and something rather extraordinary. So... That's your quiz for today, but if you want to stick around, we have a little bit more in-depth analysis. Okay, I have a frequency generator here running to a speaker, and then I've got my 256 tuning fork, and we're going to try to show you how this resonance is something that you don't often want. Look, everything has its own resonant frequency. When I turn this on, I can put it on a sine wave here, and I can tune this in, which I've already done, until I can feel this vibrating. When I feel it vibrating, I know I've hit its resonant frequency. I can feel it in my hands. That's wonderful and great, because everything has, and often they don't, they're not as beautiful uh, as this pure tone, but everything has its frequency that it would like to oscillate at. And I have this barely sitting on this piece of plastic, which I can feel it's resonating. It's where I, my cookies for lunch, but it's this thin plastic, and um, I don't want it to dampen it down because we don't have that much energy going through here. But if I were to take one of these cups and put them on top here, and I'm at the resonant frequency, can you hear that little bit of vibration? It can drive you nuts. And if I move this to the side... driving in your car and you hear these little noises, 
it'll it's enough to drive you mad. Let me put this one over. Oh, I can feel it vibrating all over the place. Now, if I were to change this to a different frequency, we don't get anything like that. So everything is going to have its own natural frequency. Maybe not a clean one like this. If you're interested in this kind of stuff, go into acoustics engineer, uh, engineering and get hired by all kinds of appliance company, automobile industry. Uh, if you're going to be making spacecraft, you don't want vibrations. Look, vibrations can be really problematic. They can end up loosening up bolts and destroying things. You don't want a bridge that's going to end up resonating at the wrong frequency. So it's an interesting phenomena, and there's plenty of applications for them out there. All right. That's your quiz for today.